Some people who write or make videos or podcasts about audio engineering like to pretend that others who are doing the same thing don't exist. I have absolutely no problem acknowledging other people's work and their great advice that they dispense for free or even not so free. So here's a list of some of my favorite online places for information relating to recording, mixing, and mastering audio. First of all, Gear Sluts. Now, <laughs> they have information that you need to take with a grain of salt a lot of times, but you can learn a lot, and I do mean a lot. This message board has been around for a very long time, and it's just, it just has a plethora of information. One of my favorite areas that a lot of people don't go to, uh, the video vault over here that I just clicked on. It'll load up in a second. The video vault has a lot of good information. This information is pretty solid. And look at that. That's, that's tons of videos for you guys to go through. The video vault, again, a lot of people just skip over it. They don't even see it. The marketplace, if you're into buying used gear, which I do recommend for saving money, the marketplace is a good place to buy a uh, deal zone you can find out where to get cheap whatever and um again a lot of people don't post on there they, they skip right to this so much gear so little time as you can see there's 1925 people viewing this at the time and you know it's, the, it's at the very top of the page newbie audio engineering lots of good information here low-end theory is great for home studios Live sound, if you do that, I love that place. Studio building and, and acoustic is, is also important information for home studio people. And then one thing that I like to read too is uh, these two, music for picture and post-production forum, because I do video work. A lot of inf good information there. And I'm looking for, oh, here it is, new product alert. I go on this board a lot and a lot of the reviews that I put on Real Home Recording, my ideas come from this place because it's a very, you know, it's a very good centralized place to get new information about software and hardware that's coming out. So look, we have UAD put out something, Slate Digital put out their trigger update, you know, lots of other stuff that, um, you know, I will love to do reviews all day long about this but i just don't and if you want to know what's new what people are talking about this is the board for you and they have a sub forum products older than two months you know I'm, i love how two months is considered old these days but i guess that that is the case with software and um, we can go through and read about some of the most popular stuff if you go over here and hit views or replies we can find out what's kind of the most popular software the more people talk about it, usually the better it is now. Um, Slate Digital VCC, hugely popular. Universal Audio's Apollo interface, virtual bus compressors. I mean, it, it's insane how many, look at the 2,000 replies, 3,900 replies. You know, you guys wonder why I talk so highly of Slate Digital. It's because, you know, gear sluts people go nuts over slate digital stuff and, and for the right reasons too valhalla room again this is just features of this board that a lot of people might not take advantage of to find out some of the best tools that people are, are looking at and talking about and that's how to do it and it'll pull up stuff from years ago if you really you know that people are no longer talking about but are still good tools a good tool especially when it comes to software that never goes out of style so moving on to the next resource, ProSoundWeb. ProSoundWeb, you know, I, I say that Gear Sluts is more of a take it with a grain of salt type of website. This one has a lot of great articles to read through. I trust this website. They're um, just the articles alone yeah, again, they have a variety of different places to read articles, but a variety of topics. 
but I love Pro Sound Web, and they also have a forum as well. But Pro Sound Web's articles have so much good content in them that I highly recommend this website. KVR Audio is a, another website, probably my second most favorite website after Gear Sluts. I go on here a lot. I'm usually on the forum. I do post under an anonymous name, and I'm not going to reveal that because I kind of like having my anonymity on these boards so that I can post whatever opinion I want and get away with it. (laughs) But I'm usually on the effects forum because they talk about the new audio software that's out there, and uh, it's good information. I find the information on here is better and less fanboyish than on Gear Sluts. Again, this is also a great resource for other things. The the deals forum on this, I think, is more frequented than the one on Gear Sluts. And you can rec- you know you can read up on specific companies down here. There's a huge list of audio companies. And then you know the rest of the website's also good as well. The main website, they post industry news all the time. And um, I've actually got a lot of stuff just from their ads because independent people can afford to put ads up here, independent software developers. So I've seen ads, which a lot of people like to ignore, but I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with ads. When you're trying to find something that improves your work, why not, right? It's not like this is um, some BS that you don't need. This is some BS that you do need, (laughs) So, um, yeah, this is KVR is also definitely one of my, like I said, it's my second favorite audio related website after gear sluts sound on sound is a magazine that, well, I wouldn't say a hundred percent trust, but they give a lot better information than other ones. So if I were willing to put money on one magazine that is mostly unbiased, Sound on Sound would be it. And they also have very informative articles about various things. They're, you know, they're, they are about three months behind because of the way printing works, but, you know, that's fine because they give you good information. You do have to subscribe to them if you want the latest articles, but they have a huge archive. Uh, I think once an article has been up for three months, then you can get it for free. And I mean, they just have so much stuff to go through that again this stuff stays relevant audio does not really go out of date and uh, let's see so it's october now so september august july should be the latest one that's available for free if i remember correctly and uh, the forum they do have a forum so let's see we have uh this, this is also cool the secrets of the mix engineers. They they interview people who are recording, mixing, mastering for bands that are on commercial radio. So the, the top guns of the audio industry, and they really go into detail about you know how they do their things. Now this is not available for for the public yet. So I'm I'm guessing June June's the, the uh, latest one at t- at the time of this video recording that I can go to. Um, let's try this June, but they go back again for a long time, but the secrets of the mix engineers is one of my favorite topics. Oh, look at this. Okay. So it says, if you're not a subscriber, then anything older than six months is free to access. Okay. They, they changed it, I guess. I, don't, I think it was three months at one time, but now it's six months, which makes sense because look, this information is valuable. So to put out, you know, what is it? I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks a year to access their latest information. It's not a lot of money considering the amount of information that you get out of it, you know, or you can buy individual articles. If you don't want to shell out the full subscription rate, you can click on individual articles and buy them, I think for like two bucks a piece. So, um, that's always an option, but I like it. I I really like sound on sound and I met 
the people who work at Sound on Sound at AES in 2011, and they are nice people. But I've gotten a lot of information when I was originally building and pricing pricing out gear for Studio B. I used a lot of Sound on Sound information to make sure that what I was getting wasn't going to be shit. And their information was accurate. That's all I ask out of a journalist. That they don't bias their information because their magazine is paid for by companies that buy ads from them. Moving on. Besides Real Home Recording, (laughs) and I'm extremely biased there, I find that the recording revolution... Alright, let me just say this. The recording revolution is probably the best, if not the best for sure, YouTube channel and now website for audio information. They have a ton of good information. Tons of great information. The guy who hosted, his name's Graham. Great guy. Dishes out advice that is applicable for tons of people who are doing this project studio thing. And I, I can't praise him enough. I can't praise the people who make this possible. Here's Graham right here. I can't praise, um, again, this information enough. It's just very, very good information. And uh, the website is therecordingrevolution.com. The YouTube channel can be found off of here. So highly, highly recommend it. If you like real home recording videos, you'll love the recording revolution. Ultimatemetal.com is another website that I get a lot of information off of. Andy Sneep is a fantastic engineer. And that's, uh, <laughs> you know, when it comes to metal, this guy knows what the hell he's doing. And the forums on here are great. It's a, it's a no bullshit attitude, which is what I love. You know, guys who do metal, they don't want to hear bullshit. It's all about what actually is and what isn't. So, tons of great information on this website, as the other ones, but specifically if you're looking for metal or rock, this is the place to go for sure. If you're into mastering, Bobcat's Digital Domain, which is a company website, he does mastering, he does awesome mastering, he's a huge anti-loudness war fanatic, and I, here's Bob right here, and I just love it. I love um, the articles on this website. And hopefully one day somebody that I record and mix can use Bobcat's services <laughs> because the guy knows what he's doing. So um, under media, articles and demos, the honor roll is a huge website that you know talks about some of the best sounding tracks that have come out. And there's a lot of other good information here. Audio the audio FAQ. Just tons and tons of good information. I love this book. It's one of the first books I bought on audio engineering. And it has served me well. And I even got Bob to autograph it when I was at AES. I was like, man, I wish I had more time to talk to you, man. But can you autograph my mastering audiobook? I brought it and the condition has held up well, even though I've... I, I used to read it like every day, <laughs> but um, lots of good information. They also have a forum as well. Another website where you can get tons of good information, and actually this probably should be in the top three or four, is productionadvice.co.uk. It's run by this guy over here, Ian, who I don't know if he started it, but He's heavily involved with Dynamic Range Day. But um, he puts out a lot of nice videos. Ian Shepard. And uh, you can get some free PDFs and other websites or other advice, other information. You can get so inf- so much information from all the websites I've given you guys so far that uh, you'll be well on your, well on your way to... Recording, mixing, and mastering awesome audio in your studio. You know, on top of the stuff that I've given you throughout the years on realhomerecording.com, these guys, you know, I, I have higher praise for them, 
You know, they they know what the hell they're doing. They they're you know doing this for a living. You know, I'm doing this more of, as of a hobby right now. Um, these guys are you know in the big studios doing their thing, but you know I'm making my thing in my small studio. <laughs> and that's kind of the idea but um even from the bigger guys with the better gear you can get great information because it all still works the same once you're in the software domain especially but um lots of good material just keep reading through this you know take a break but whatever you get you know i i, I always have my little word document where i copy and paste good information or I, I write information as I'm watching videos and I refer to it later until it becomes a habit for me. So, uh, moving on. This list would not be complete without mentioning Pensado's Place. Until Pensado's Place came out, you could not find video interviews with audio engineers that are at a huge caliber, giving out advice, maybe not always the best of advice, but just giving out advice, little tidbits here and there that make wor watching the videos worth it. And Pensado's Place is it. I don't even know why he, he does this video series because they give out such good information, but they do it, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Dave Pensado, he mixes a lot of major pop stars and... um you would be doing yourself a disservice if you did not add Pensado's Place to your YouTube subscriptions. Next up, we have creativecal.net. This isn't something that a lot of people think of when they think of audio, but if you go to their forums, you'll see that there is a ton of stuff, a ton of audio-related forums, audio professionals. We have web streaming, audio video. So really just specific information about different programs and how to do things that are related to video. A lot of, uh, I know a lot of you guys probably work with video like I do, and you can get a lot of good information on Creative Cal. Lots of good information. Highly recommend it. Highly. Finally, last but not least, homerecording.com. Just like the other pages, Lots of great information, great discussion on issues related to audio. It's, it's all great content. Great, great content. And so th that's really it. I mean, just it's a lot of information. I'm not the only guy doing this. I'm not the best guy doing this. Uh, I'm giving it's one man's advice. That's what this channel is all about. This is what works for me. But there's a lot of other opinions out there. And you just really have to learn by reading and then learn by doing. Learn by doing, you learn the most. But if you read up on stuff before you try doing, you might save yourself some time and heartbreak and uh, your wallet might thank you some more as well. So that's why I continue to read about audio, even though I really don't record musicians like I used to. I still do a lot of things for video where audio is essential. Good audio is essential to professional videos, and that's what it's all about. Because the uh, the famous saying is, you don't notice the bad audio until it's bad. Or you don't, you don't notice audio until it's bad. And when it's bad, everybody notices it. When there's no complaints, that's when you know you're doing a good job. So that's about it. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.